students of class 7 today we are going to work out the next few sums of the chapter 17 areas of rectangles and squares we are going to do let's work out 17 come to question number 2 here we will have to find the area of the square having side 5 meter so children when the side of the square is given which is 5 meter you know how to calculate the area area means side square so that means 5 meter into 5 meter that is 25 square meter this is your answer so you are going to write 25 square meter next sum sum number 3 it is a diagram based sum it is said on a rectangular piece of white paper I draw two pictures as shown in the figure so here you find a rectangle a bigger rectangle drawn outside and inside it one square is present and another rectangle is present the square is having side 8 centimeter and the rectangle is having length 10 centimeter and breadth 6 centimeter so the questions are find how much space of white paper the number one picture is occupying so children the number one picture is representing what it is representing a square so the side of the square is given which is 8 centimeter you can take out the area which is equals to side square that means side into side so 8 centimeter into 8 centimeter which is 64 square centimeter right so you will write the answer number one picture is occupying 64 square centimeter the next question is find how much space of white paper the number two picture is occupying so children just have a look at the diagram you can see the number two picture is a rectangle having length 10 centimeter and breadth 6 centimeter so when the length and the breadth is given you can easily take out the area of the rectangle so you are going to write area equals to length into breadth that is 10 centimeter into 6 centimeter which is 60 square centimeter so here you will write the answer the number two picture is occupying area of 60 square centimeter next is the question is calculate the area of the white space that is left in the white paper after drawing the two pictures so here you will have to ca calculate the area excluding the square and the rectangle that means this space that means the area of this region you need to calculate so children how can you calculate this area simply you will add the areas of the square and the rectangle and then subtract it from the area of the bigger rectangle which is having length 32 centimeter and breadth 20 centimeter so at first what you will do is you are going to take out the area of the bigger rectangle as shown over here 32 into 20 that is 640 square centimeter now you will write the area of white space left equals to area of white paper minus the area of number one picture plus the area of number one number two picture as i have told you are going to add the areas of the two pictures that is the square and the rectangle and after that subtract it from the area of the bigger outside rectangle so you are doing the calculations over here 640 square centimeter minus 64 plus 60 square centimeter so 64 plus 60 when you do you will get 124 so finally you are subtracting 640 square centimeter minus 124 square centimeter which is equals to 516 square centimeter so your answer is 516 square centimeter is left next sum the length and breadth of a page of my exercise book is 15 centimeter and 12 centimeter respectively a margin of 2 meter sorry a margin of width 2 centimeter is drawn on all sides and wrote inside the margin so here you will see that this is the length and the breadth of the exercise book which is given the length is 15 centimeter and the breadth is 12 centimeter and a margin of width 2 centimeter is present all around the inside so here this type of sum you have done previously also so here you need to calculate the question is find the area of the portion on which i wrote so that means this area so just imagine your own exercise book you are having the margins all around the page and you can write only in the center portion so how can you calculate this area you will find 
at first the area of the external rectangle then you will have to calculate here the length and the breadth of the interior rectangle ok here the length is given which is 15 centimeter and the breadth is given which is 12 centimeter so now what you will do is you know that 2 centimeter width is present all around so how can you find out you are going to subtract actually 4 why 4 because 2 from this side 2 from this side so for finding the new length that means the length of the interior rectangle you need to subtract 4 from 15 so here you are doing the solution you are getting see here in the rectangle the interior rectangle 15 minus 2 minus 2 it is done which you are getting 11 centimeter that means actually what you are subtracting 4 from 15 that means 15 minus 4 you are doing so you will get 11 centimeter right you are getting 11 centimeter and similarly you are doing 12 12 is the breadth of the external rectangle so you are doing 12 minus actually 4 why because 2 from the top and 2 from the bottom so you are getting 12 minus 4 that is 8 centimeter now you can take out the area of the interior rectangle which is 11 into 8 11 centimeter into 8 centimeter which is equals to 88 square centimeter so your answer is i wrote on 88 square centimeter now also now you need to calculate the area of the margin so that means what for calculating the area of the margin means this portion you are calculating so for calculating the area of the margin what you will do is you are going to take out the area of the external rectangle then take out the area of the internal rectangle then after that subtract okay then only you will get the area of the margin so here the area of the external rectangle we have calculated 15 centimeter into 12 centimeter which is equals to 180 square centimeter now you have also calculated the area of the internal rectangle which is equals to 88 square centimeter then after that you are going to take out the area of the margin which is equals to area of rectangle abcd minus area of the area of the rectangle efgh so you are doing the subtraction 180 square centimeter minus 88 square centimeter which is equals to 92 square centimeter so i hope children you have understood the sums so you are going to write the answer as i wrote on 88 square centimeter that means the internal portion the internal area on which you have written excluding the margin and you have not written on that means the area of the margin which is equals to 92 square centimeter okay children so listen to the explanation from the video and work out the sums in your classwork notebook and just children note down that question number 2 part 9 has been omitted ok you just cross it out in your book itself with the help of pencil question number 2 part 9 ok just cross it out with the help of pencil so thank you all for today